let's look at Google Cloud Console. So this is Google Cloud Console, which is console.cloud.google.com. This is Microsoft Azure, which is portal.azure.com. So we basically type portal.azure.com and here you basically provide your uh, login credentials. Uh, along with login credentials, you need to provide the password. Since this is my uh, production subscription or production Azure account, this has MFA enabled. This has additional security features enabled uh, so that it is not compromised. So you just need to provide this information. Give me a moment. All right, so I'm signing into Microsoft Azure. This is how Microsoft Azure looks like. So this is Google Cloud. This is Azure. And let me open AWS also. AWS is console.aws.amazon.com. Give me a moment. So I'm logged into AWS also. Now here you can see this is Google Cloud Console. This is Microsoft Azure Cloud Portal, and this is AWS Console. So these are the three leading cloud service providers console. Throughout this training, I will keep, I'm say whenever I start the training and throughout the training, I will have all the three cloud portal open. Why? So that if you ever ask me a question with respect to comparison, and if you want to correlate with a specific service that how it happens in the other cloud and any specific question, rather telling you how it is done, I can quickly show you so that you see it for yourself. And like they say, a picture is worth thousand words or a video is worth thousand pictures. So I don't believe in telling. I believe in showing so you can see it yourself and you can learn it because you will learn it forever if you see it, how it happens. And this also gives you an opportunity to compare and correlate that how it happens in Google Cloud. So if you can also do the same, I would say this is just an this is just uh, I would say good for you. If you can also have other than Google Cloud, if you can also have an Azure free trial, an AWS free trial created along with Google Cloud today and have all the portals open throughout this training session. By the end of this training session, you will have some knowledge of all the clouds. I'm repeating myself once again. You will have some knowledge of all the clouds. Never ever consider that you will learn everything in this training or you can learn everything within a year or two. Nobody is an expert. Even today, I've been, it's been 15 years and I have extensively worked in cloud, in all the three clouds work done projects for large enterprises and even today I feel that I'm not perfect because it keeps on changing. The day I start to feel that I know everything about a service, they change something, they deprecate or they introduce new capabilities, something that I'm not aware of. So then I log into the portal, try to see what that new advancement is, what that new change is. By the time I learn it, they add something else so I can not become a perfect. I could never become an SME or somebody who is perfect in cloud and be honest to yourself. That's all about being a professional. Yes. So these are the three clouds that you will open. OK, so we will learn about Google Cloud, but we will keep taking reference of how it happens in Azure and AWS, and that will be an opportunity for you to have your concepts strong. If you have any gap in your knowledge, you can ask those questions, and this is an opportunity for you to you know, and I will do my level best to answer your question to your satisfaction level. OK, so that's about that's about these three clouds. So how do you create a free trial account? As I said, you just need to open Gmail. In you know, in any of the browser and in the same browser, open another tab and type. Console.cloud.google.com and that way it will automatically log you in to your Google Cloud console and you can start to build services. When you build any service that needs billing account to be enabled, it will prompt you then and there and it will say this is the time when I want you to do to provide some additional information in the form uh, probably your uh, payment information, which is debit or credit card or your pan card information. Feel free to share that information. 
Google will protect it. Google will not use it for any uh, personal benefits. It will be safe with Google. So don't worry on that part. And I can say you with this confidence because I've been using Google Cloud for the last uh, seven, eight years, and I've not seen any case of data leak from Google Cloud as such when you share information with Google Cloud. So this is what you need to do. However, if you don't have a Gmail ID or if you want to create a free trial using your next turn ID, this is an opportunity for you. So how do you create a free trial? In that case, what you can do, since I have Google Cloud Console open here, I'll open in private browsing mode a new incognito window and I can say Google Cloud trial. Google Cloud free trial. So this is where you can click on the first link, which is 90 days free trial of Google Cloud. And it says run, test and deploy workloads on Google Cloud. Get started for free. So just click here, get started for free, and then it will ask you for your email address. See, in order to start with Google Cloud, you must have a Google ID. Uh, you can start with the Google Cloud free trial with your Gmail ID. If you don't have a Gmail ID, Let's create one. Let's create a Gmail ID, uh, Gmail ID today if you don't have one, and use that Gmail ID to sign up to Google Cloud. So you can type any Gmail ID here, and it will let you sign in to Google Cloud. For example, I'll type one Gmail ID here. OK, so I'll type one Gmail ID here. And you can see it will take me to the next page. So it accepts my Gmail ID. All it says that go ahead and create your password. Now, why it is asking for password? Because this is private browsing mode. On this, in this mode, they don't enable cookies. They don't store any information. And that is the reason they don't have my email address, uh, the password of this ID. You just need to type the password of this ID. Basically, you just need to authenticate using your Google uh, Gmail ID. And once you're done with the authentication, once this authentication is complete, you will be able to, uh, I'd say it will, it will, for, it will land you in the Google Cloud console and you can start using Google Cloud. Once you have Google Cloud free trial enabled, then you can validate with respect to the credit that you have. You can quickly say and validate the credit that they have given you. So for example, on this portal, if I want to see what is my credit, I can click here. I can go to billing section and say once your free trial is enabled, this is what you need to do. You just need to go to your billing accounts and in the billing account, see, for example, on this email address, this is my personal email address. I've not taken a Google Cloud free trial ever. That is the reason my billing account doesn't exist here. But I have another uh, another account which I use for Google Cloud, for example, here. So I'll show you. Uh, this is another uh, production account that I primarily use for uh, POCs and consulting exercise. So if I now navigate to Google Cloud Console. So once you log in, uh, once you're done with creating a free trial account in Google, this is what you need to do to validate whether your free trial is active. Uh, you can also see the credit which is uh, remaining in the free trial. So this is how you need to log in. You will you know, you will sign into a project. When you log into Google Cloud Console, it by default signs you in to either the first project or to the default project that you choose. So you will sign in, you will navigate to, you will click on these three horizontal lines, and then you will click on billing. In the billing console or in the billing dashboard, 
let it first load, it is loading. Probably it has not done that. We'll click on it once again. Okay. So this is the billing console. Over here in this billing console, there will be an option that will show you the free trial credits. So over here you can see cost optimization. It says credits. So click on credits here and here you will see the status. That will tell you the status of your free trial credits. So for example, my free trial credits are expired. Why they expired? Because I started this account last year in January. So last year in January, I actually created, I actually signed up for free trial and that got expired on April 26, which is, which is four months. Why four months? Because I did take it the I'm saying I, I was using my corp email address, the corporate email address. That's why I got it. So you can see here I got a total of this was the uh, credit. Basically, if you convert it, this was the original value 24,859, which is equivalent to $300 and then 8,286, which is equivalent to another $100. So you get $300 plus $100 a total of $400 worth of credit when you sign up using a corporate account, corporate email address, the domain must be listed with Google. So you cannot sign up using next turn because probably the next turn is not uh, you know, added to Google, uh, you know, Google Cloud identity yet. But even if you can't sign up using nextturn.com, you can still sign up to Google using your personal Gmail account, personal email account with Google. So once you sign up, once you're done with it, once you sign into your console for the first time, directly click on these three horizontal lines, navigate to billing, and then in the billing, you can you can also click here. It opens a drop down. You can directly click on credits, or once you are in the billing portal under cost optimization, you see credits. So you just need to click here, and it will show you the current status of it. And then I will tell you tomorrow, first thing in the first thing in the session, that how do you keep a track of your spend. So we will enable we will enable budgeting and alerting that will also get you an opportunity to learn another Google monitoring service that is part of this training. We will enable budgeting and alerting so that you will get notified whenever 10%, 20%, 50%, 80%, 100% of your credit expires utilized. And you will also get alerts based on prediction. And that will help you to keep a track of your spend and take corrective ac actions as and when needed. If you feel that it is overspending, that you probably have created a service and you forgot to delete it, and that service is unnecessarily causing you billing all the time. So there is something that you will do that, that we will do first thing in the session tomorrow so that you will keep a good track of the spending. Because after this training is over, you will continue with this same free trial account to review, to revise, and to learn new services. That's the goal of creating this free trial account. Is everyone with me on this? And let me know if you have any questions so far. No. OK, great. So this is this is what you need to do. Uh, today itself. Now let's understand the flow of the training. So the focus of this training will be we we'll spend some time in Google Cloud fundamentals. This is what we are going to talk about. When I, when I say Google Cloud fundamentals, I'm not talking about cloud fundamentals. Cloud fundamentals you can learn from the URL that I've shared in the chat window. Cloud fundamentals remains the same. There is a dedicated session on cloud fundamentals, which is common to all the clouds. We'll focus on Google Cloud fundamentals. When I say Google Cloud fundamentals, I'm talking about history of Google Cloud. I'm talking about uh, the global infrastructure of Google Cloud. Global infra of Google Cloud. I'm talking about the business benefits of Google Cloud. That's what Google Cloud Fundamentals is. That's what we will start with. And then we will move on. Once we are done with the fundamentals, 
we will move on core services of Google Cloud. So when I say core services of Google Cloud, we will start with identity and access management, which is one of the core services or most important service in any cloud because it all starts with identities. It all starts with access management. So we'll start with identity and access management. From identity and access management, we'll move on to networking, which is VPC service. Once we are done with VPC, we'll talk about cloud storage. Then we'll talk about GCE, which is Google Compute Engine. Then we will move on to monitoring services, which is cloud ops monitoring. Then we'll move on to logging services. So we can say it like this, logging, sorry, monitoring, logging, and auditing. Once we are done with this, once we are done with these common services, compute, network, storage, logging, monitoring, auditing, we talk about security. Security we will not get into the detail. We will primarily focus on overview of it. And then if we are left with some time, we can think of going into the detail, but our focus will be currently the fundamentals of security. And depending on the project that you work in, we can probably, so I am, actually planning a detailed session on those services which you know which you will need to work on this is more of a common training for all of you so these services and then we'll come back to these core services and we'll talk about additional services here so when it comes to let's say compute engine services we start with compute engine which is virtual machines but if you are left with some time i'm say after this we'll come back and we'll talk about gke we'll talk about app engine We'll talk about cloud runs. We'll talk about other services within Compute Engine. Similarly, when it comes to storage, we'll talk about with storage, which is your object storage. But at the same time, I'm saying disk, we'll talk about in GC, but just is another type of log storage. So we'll talk about disk. We'll talk about Cloud SQL. We'll talk about BigQuery. We'll talk about Firestore. This is what we'll be talk talking about. Right, so we'll get into the detail of it basically. Same as the case with VPC, we'll talk about VPN, we'll talk about additional, uh, with, you know, additional configuration with respect to VPN. So this is what we are going to do. So the focus of this training is going to be the core services of Google Cloud. We'll be starting with the main core services, which are, uh, which are most widely used which are universally used by most of the customers. And then we'll focus on additional core services or other services within the core services domain, which are also used by some of the customers. So that's the ultimate goal of this training. That's how we need. That's how we are going to deliver this training. Silence is half consent. So where is the compute engine? This is GC Google Compute Engine. Instead of instead of typing the domain name, I've typed the service name. So this is identity and access management. This is networking. This is storage. This is compute, monitoring, log, logging, and auditing because it it you know it includes multiple services. So I've just you know put the domain name, then security, which is your uh, security services in Google Cloud. Then we'll be focusing on a firewall, a firewall rules, route tables a security and command center and a couple of services from security and command center, uh, cloud armor, uh, chronicle up to a certain extent. I'm say the services which are which makes Google cloud security portfolio. So that's security and this is. Hope that answers Rakesh. Yes, yes. OK, any other participant? All right, great. So if you don't have any other questions, we can close the session. Now, before we do that, do you have any questions on creating a free trial account? If you want, you can do it now while in the session. It hardly takes three to four minutes. And if you face any issue, you can at least discuss it today because from tomorrow onwards, I will not even talk about creating a free trial account. I would expect that you have it. 